Merhabalar, bugün Invest'in okullarıyla bir webinarımız olacak. Webinar İngilizce olacak arkadaşlar. Richard Bey ile beraber, daha sonra Richard Bey sunum yapacak. Ben sorularınızı kendisine ileteceğim. Hello Richard, I just introduce Hello. you in Turkish so that everyone knows who you are. But you can also introduce yourself. Fantastic, thank you. So my, my name is Richard Lawless. I am the International Partnership Manager for Investing. Um, we're we're an a, a, a immersive career provider based in London. I've been working in international education for over 15 years now, um, working both with language schools and also uh, groups of edu uh, groups of academic schools. Um, and I'd just like to say it's, it's nice to have the opportunity to, to speak to everyone today. Thank you. Thank you. So I will start your webinar. And uh, if you want me to go to your presentation, then we can start from there. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Just give me a second, please. Can you see the screen now? I can't if we... Okay. Here we go. It's the first slide. Fantastic. Thank you. So... um. Thank you for, for taking the time to hear me talk today. Just to give you first a bit of background about who Investing is. So we have been operating for the last 10 years. Uh, for the last nine of those years, we have only worked with the UK market. And in those nine years, we've had over 50,000 students join our programs. We have over a thousand partnerships, schools in, in the UK alone. Um, and one of the things that makes us special, I think I've just, just lost the screen yeah, there. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> that's all right, it's back. We're, we're still good to go. Um, so we, we deliver immersive career experiences in London for students aged 12 to 18. And they come and they join us and work alongside of, of um, London's top experts in, in 18 or 19 different industries. We do operate weekend programs uh, in the autumn, but our main value uh, added uh, opportunity is in the summer where industry professionals from London will come and spend time with our students for between five, 10 and 15 days. And the reason we do this is we want to be able to equip students with the knowledge and the confidence to make the right decisions for their careers, but also for, for their, their futures, and therefore maximize their chances of success. Next slide, please. So our mission really is to bridge the gap between school and industry, or school and employers expectations and i say that because today or historically schools have been fantastic at explaining to students what they need to study to get into university and universities are fantastic at explaining to students what they need to study to become a professional in in engineering in in law in in psychology but at no point does anybody ever explain what these jobs are actually like? What do they do on a day-to-day -day basis? Um, what this can lead to, um, and I think it's, it's quite prevalent, is students will go to university and not complete their studies because they feel that actually they don't want to do this. Or they complete their studies at university and they struggle to get a job because they haven't prepared themselves for their future career. Um, and so this is why Investing has, has for, for so long been delivering these opportunities for students to have experiential learning with hands-on practical sessions with our experts. We'll move on to the next slide. And so really, after 10 years of working in immersive um, careers, we've, we've spoken to lots of employers and the thing that they're looking for most nowadays and in the future are going to be the skills of the graduates, the skills of their future employees. And the biggest skill at that is the, the soft transferable skills, because that's essentially 
that their potential, their potential to learn, their potential to work within uh, a team. And so it is now very, very important to start these discussions with students, even at home, even have those initial uh, conversations about what students want to be when they're older, because the home is a safe space. It's a place where you can have these open conversations and talk about the future. Because there's a very scary statistic out there that um, because how job markets are changing with technology, with environmental pressures, with the internal pressures of, of companies, six out of 10 students will be working in jobs that don't exist today, okay? This is because the job market is changing, the demand for jobs is changing, technology is changing. And so getting students into this, into this mindset where they are thinking about the future, where they are thinking about how can I maximize my success in my future job, that thinking needs to start today. It needs to start with, at home with, with parents at school. Um, and students really need to start thinking about what could I do today that will improve my chances of getting into the university I want so that I can get into the career that I want. So if we can move to the next slide. And this is where investing comes in. So we deliver these immersive career experiences for students aged 12 to 18. And you can see that we've, we, what we do is we break it down into two age groups, 12 to 14 and 15 to 18. In the summer, we use University College London, better known as UCL, and students will be staying at their flagship accommodation block called Garden Halls, which is more like a hotel, uh, and I'll, I'll come on to that later. Um, but it's really a fantastic opportunity for students to experience what it's like living and studying at one of the world's top universities. Our courses run from between five, 10 and 15 days. And we, we recommend that students have uh, an English level of B2, but on a case by case basis, we can also look at uh, maybe a B1 level. Next slide, please. So an immersive career experience, what is it? Um, essentially, it, it really is this life-changing opportunity to work alongside London's experts because we do not employ teachers. We do not have invest in staff delivering these career experiences because we're not the experts. The experts are the people who are at the top of their game in the current jobs. So we pay them on a consultancy basis to come and spend time with our students. And what this means is that we're able to deliver a very dynamic and a very empowering experience for the students because they're gonna receive knowledge from those experts. They're gonna have the opportunity to experience what these workplaces are like, what it is like um, uh, walking around a Boeing 747 with the Boeing engineers or going to the UK's largest supercar collection and working alongside Rolls-Royce engineers on different projects. Or it could be um, working alongside doctors at the UCL training hospital, working on robotic patients, learning how to take blood, how to do stitching. And these opportunities give them a huge amount of advantage because it allows them to stand out from the crowd. Because the reality is everybody goes to school, the majority of people will be going to university and they're being advised on, you need to do sports, you need to do this and you need to do this, but everybody is doing that. And so what will make them stand out from the crowd a bit more is having uh, evidence of them showing initiative, of them showing interest in a future career. And on top of that, we also provide a very large network of professionals but when they are at university and looking for an internship or when they have completed their uh, studies and they're looking for a job. And uh, on Thursday, I was speaking with a new partner of ours who's based in Edinburgh and their, their son joined our course. He actually came on two of our programs. 
and is due to finish university this year. But even before he's finished university, he has a job with Deloitte, which is one of the top four accountancy firms in the UK. And the, the, and the reason a partner has got back in touch with us is because she was having a discussion with her son and said, OK, you know, what, what do you think? How do you think you've got to this point? And he said it was because of the time that I spent with Investin, the guidance they gave me, the opportunities they gave me to meet professionals and the experience of understanding what these jobs are actually like. Um, and if you can move on to the next slide, sorry. So the way that we do this, we have our own kind of methodology. As I said, we, we don't have teachers. We're not a language camp. And we are not um, uh, uh, an ac academic provider. Our professionals come to us and we, uh, uh, in the first five days, deliver career simulation. So essentially what this means is that our experts will give them a very deep insight to those careers. And this is done via interactive masterclasses, seminars, workshops. Um, this is then followed up by industry site visits. So this is where we will take the students across London to different industry site locations. Um, if they're on our lawyer program, for example, they will go to the British Courts of Justice. They'll go to Amnesty International. Our young politicians will have a private reception with British MPs and then a public speaking session with one of the government's speechwriters. Our fashion course, they go to a London Fashion Week venue where we hire in professional models professional makeup artists, and the students will have the opportunity to exhibit the, their creations they have made in the last nine days. This is then critiqued by fashion experts who will give them advice and guidance on what they can do to improve, but also what they can do to start building their career within the fashion industry. So we, we do a lot of personalized coaching. And throughout the whole time they're with us, they'll have the opportunity to speak with the professionals, ask them questions, work alongside them. And so there's a huge amount of private networking that goes on as well. And if you can just pop to the next slide, it will give you an idea of what it actually looks like. OK, so in the top left, you can see us at the, the supercar collection working with the Rolls Royce engineers. Uh, in the middle of the slides, you can see uh, uh, the students on the UCL training ward with robotic patients. They do ward rounds with doctors and learn the, the importance of communication skills and how to, to work with a wide ranging uh, type of patient. They'll also use the latest medical technology and VR headsets to diagnose patients. On the, on the right, you can see our students at the British Courts of Justice doing a real trial, using real evidence, using real facts, and students will take on different roles. So you have the, the prosecution, you'll have the defense, you'll have the jury, you'll have a lot of argument in a controlled manner uh, in, in, in, a, in a law court, which I think is what mainly happens. You'll also see them at the airfield with the Boeing engineers, where they walk around the plane and better understand why things happen on the plane and, and how they're structured. Then you also see our dentist program where they'll learn how to take real molds. Uh, they'll learn the whole uh, wide ranging procedures. We have our young political um, on the bottom left hand corner um, having a session with one of the government speech writers. But then we also have architecture, design. And what you don't see here is our coding, uh, our software engineer program where they'll have the opportunity to create pro uh, to create programs alongside um, software engineers. If you can move on. Next slide, please. And this just gives you an insight to where our professionals come from. So I'm not saying we work directly with these companies, but we will pay uh, professionals from these companies a consultancy fee to come and spend time with the students. And it's these consultants who spend the time with the students, no teachers, okay? So just to give you um, a bit of context, if a student is, is with us for 15 days, they will get 65.5 hours of contact time with industry experts. 
And to put that in, in context, if you were to language school for two weeks, on average, you have around 30 hours over the two weeks of, of language tuition, where with us, you get 65 hours of, of experiential contact time with those experts. The next slide, please. And so the key benefits of our programs is knowledge. They're getting the knowledge of what these industries are like. What is the career like uh, in engineering? Uh, and it's the experts who deliver this. They, they talk them through everything to do with engineering. And then we give them the opportunity not only to, to kind of uh, see it for themselves, but to put into practice what they've learned in the previous five days. And I think sometimes more importantly, is they have the opportunity to understand why what they are studying at school is so important for their future career. It adds a sense of reality, it adds a sense of realism to, okay, I understand why I have to study math, because if I wanted to be an engineer, I'll have to work these kind of uh, these, these problems out. And the advantage. So when it comes to university, students are going to have to make themselves stand out. And, and I'm not sure if you're aware, recently there's been changes to the British um, application system of UCAS, where students' personal statements are going to take more priority and preference. And so being able to explain that they have taken the initiative to go and find out more about a specific career and explain why and to highlight their curiosity within that industry will give them a huge amount of advantage. And in addition to that, they will be building a network of professionals they can call on later in life. Next slide, please. And so the added value for these international students Yes, they're going to get a certificate, like every summer course provides a certificate, okay? But we go one further. All students will be able to receive an industry reference letter that is signed by a professional, a top professional from London. And so when we're talking about university applications, this isn't just for the UK system. This is for any system globally to be able to reference the fact that at ages 16 to 18, or even younger, they have taken it upon themselves to go and find out more about a specific career, to better understand it, shows initiative, it shows motivation, it shows that they have a career certainty and they're dedicated to their future self. And those, those skills are so in demand, not only from employers, but for universities. They'll also get the hands-on career experience with those professionals. That, that is something the majority, the large majority of 16 to 18 year olds will never be able to experience is getting that, that kind of network um, on, on their CV. And then experiencing what it's like to live at one of the world's top universities. Now, I'm not sure if anybody is aware of UCL or the, the garden halls accommodation. I, I do have a, a picture of it um, towards the end of this presentation. But it is like a hotel. It is single ensuite bedrooms in central London. But more importantly, the students will have the opportunity to experience the need for independence, to experience what it's going to be like when they decide to go to university. And all through their time with us, they will be supported by our welfare and pastoral team. Who, and also the um, career coaches that we have uh, throughout the program. And so the key thing I think I'd, I'd really hope people um, take away today is that not only do they get the, a, a very cool summer, summer program, but it's a summer program that's gonna be delivering technical and transferable skills for any industry. And that can be translated back into their work at school, it can be translated into applications to university or med school. Um, and it's going to make them, well, it's going to help prepare them to be successful for their future selves. So if we can go on to the next slide, please. These are the 19 careers that we offer. So to, to give you some perspective here, over the summer, Invest in will welcome over three and a half thousand students on our program. 
it's not a small program it's a, it's a it's a large program it's a program where students are especially turkish students are going to be you know surrounded by 70 percent english students all right because we've been in the uk for 10 years our name and our reputation is very high within the uk schools and not only the uk schools but in ucas so if you are applying to a university in the UK, you can actually select invest in for many of the options when it comes to super curricular activities, whether it's mentoring, work experience, online learning, you will find that invest in is actually one of their preferred partners there. We can move on to the next slide, please. <clears throat> and so the way our summer works, again, anything you, you, you know about summer programs, these put it far away from you, okay? Because what we do is very different. So we offer five, 10 or 15 days. And this is not a Monday to Friday thing, all right? As, as I've mentioned once or twice, our, professional, we, our, our program is delivered by professionals. And those professionals work during the week, which is why we like to maximize the weekends as well. So our 15 day program is 15 days straight, consecutive days, okay? So it, it, it can be quite a, um, an intense yet rewarding experience. So the way it normally works is the first five days is based at UCL and all these different industry experts come to us and they do this deep dive into the career via the masterclass, there's the seminars and the workshops. The next five days, we take them across London. So um, our investment bankers, for example, will be at an iconic London skyscraper learning to trade the London stock market. The next day, they could be at uh, the London Trading Academy. Um, our, our psychology program, one day they could be visiting probably the best football team in the world. It's called Chelsea, just in case anyone wasn't aware. Um, and they they will be working not with the footballers, but with the sport psychologists to understand how psychology is implemented in, into sport. The next day, they'll go to a business and work alongside a business psychologist to understand the commercial psychology that, that uh, many companies are, are, are trying to understand. And then the next day, they'll go to one of the world's oldest mental health hospitals to see what that career is like. And then the final five days, we bring everybody back to UCL, where we deliver a world-class career coaching. And this, can, this will include sessions from experts in uh, applications to American universities, um, uh, experts for UK universities. But I think the key thing to, to remember is they will also be getting coaching on these soft skills. And I can't highlight this enough. It is those soft skills, the initiative, the motivation that a lot of universities, whether it's in England, America, wherever in the world, they will all be looking for the same skills, the same um, experience, but also obviously attainment at school as well. And what we find is once a student has been on our program, their motivation and their attainment at school is much, much higher because they've been guided not by teachers, uh, not, not by parents, um, but by people who are actually in those professions already. We can move on to the next slide. So this gives you uh, an overview of what the uh, programs are actually like. So this is our Young Doctor Summer Experience. And you can see an overview of 15 days broken down into to five days. So what you'll notice is that day one isn't just a, a soft day where they get to know each other's names and play some games, okay? You are making an investment into their future and it's something we take very seriously. So day one, they will have a bit of ice breaking and get to know you, but then they go to a GP surgery, a general practitioner's surgery, and they start learning. They start understanding what the career is like on day one. By day five, our doctors are already talking to them about medical school applications, what is important, what they need to consider, what they can do today and tomorrow to improve the application in the years or months to come. 
And then days six to 10, they will be out. This is at the UCL training hospital, um, work doing the ward rounds, speaking with real patients, speaking with real doctors. Uh, and then you can see again, at the end of that five days, there's a networking with um, some of London's top doctors. The next five days is all about the student and how they can progress to be in, in, in kind of the top jobs for the future. So this is an, this, this slide is, is a very um, condensed slide, just to give you an idea of what they do each day and what they will get from it at the end of their experience. The next slide, please. And so finally, obviously our program sounds fantastic uh, in terms of what they'll be doing day to day, but as parents, naturally, you're gonna worry, where will my child stay? And so what you can see in the background here, this is Garden Halls, probably one of the nicest uh, university accommodation blocks in London. Um, as I've mentioned, they're all single ensuite bedrooms. It is central London, so five or 10 minutes from Oxford Street, very close to King's Cross Station. <clears throat> Facility wise, it's phenomenal. It has a cinema room, a games room, a relaxation room, a room for pretty much anything, okay? Um, and when students choose uh, the accommodation package with us, they will also include full board. So that means three meals a day. So they will have breakfast at a large canteen on the bottom floor. Um, and take it from me, the breakfast is very good. I made it a, a, a very key point for me to try the food out. Um, uh, if, if anyone ever gets to meet me, they'll understand that I, I do like to eat. It's, it's always, it's an important part of the day. Um, they'll also have dinner at the uh, accommodation block as well. Something that's, again, very different, that we do different compared to the majority of, of other providers is at lunch, we give them a lunch card, all right? And it's got a limit, but they can go to nearby supermarkets and choose what they would like to have for lunch. Because traditionally in the UK, students are given packed lunches. And if we're talking about the psychology of a packed lunch, what happens is they get it in the morning and they put it into a rucksack and then they put 15 other things on top of that lunch in the rucksack. <clears throat> and so their sandwich becomes about that thick. It's not very appealing or tasty. And so what we do is we encourage the students to be able to go and choose what they would like to eat. That could range from sushi to sandwich to salads, uh, all from a, a, a supermarket that is everywhere in London. Um, so so they always have options to eat. And then throughout the day, again, we are feeders. So there are snacks all over the accommodation. Uh, there's a lot of fruit uh, available for students. And it's quite funny in the morning because you can see them filling their rucksacks with all the snacks and the fruit for the day so they can go and get a really nice lunch um, later. In terms of something else that we take very, very seriously, <clears throat> that's, that's the students' welfare. So instead of just having staff that sleep in the same accommodation areas, we go one step further. Our guardianship, our welfare and safeguarding and pastoral teams operate 24 hours a day, seven days a week while our programs are running. And this means that they are on duty awake 24 seven. So even at nighttime, when the students have gone to bed, our teams are awake, based at a desk at the front at reception. They patrol the accommodation to make sure everyone's okay and there's no, um, no issues, let's say. Uh, but also if there's if a parent needs to to get in contact with their, their child, there is somebody that's awake to take the phone call. Okay, and I think that that that's really, really important just to, to let you know someone will always be awake at the end of a phone. And they won't be you don't have to worry about if I'm going to call them, will they wake up? Will they hear the phone? They are sitting at a desk um, there to support the students. Now, <clears throat> because our days are very full on. They run from around 9.30 in the morning till 5 p.m. Students get very tired. So we do do activities in the evening, but these are very soft activities. And it can range from sports to craft to, to, uh, uh, to quizzes. But the majority of our students want to go and explore London. They want to go and see Big Ben. 
Um, and so in the evenings, they are allowed to sign out. But, uh, they have to go to our guardianship team to sign out, make sure we've got the right contact number. Uh, we like to know where they're going and they can go out, but they have to be back by a certain time. Um, and then we'll also be able to monitor who comes into the building because they have these key cards. And in order to get into the building, you have to use your key card to get past the barrier. So what this means, is we're fully aware of who's in the building and who's not in the building. But what the students sometimes don't realize, we're also fully aware of who's going into a room and who is leaving a room because they have to use their key card to open the door and they have to use their key card to lock the door. And what this means is that we have very good visibility on, on where the students are if there are any issues. So <clears throat> I am going to open the floor to some questions. Okay. We just stop this presentation first, and then maybe I can direct you to the questions. So there are many. Good. Uh, <laughs> okay. So let me start with one. So is there any program that runs for anesthesia or is just a regular medical program? So it is, it's a regular medical program, but it covers lots of different um, topics within medicine. So you have the general practitioner, you have surgery, uh, you have the ER. Um, so it covers a whole range of different things. Uh, what I would say is that if you're you know, looking to, to speak with someone from um, a specific uh, kind of uh, a part of medicine, you will probably come across them on our course because we have so many um, doctors, especially, that, that join us throughout the summer. Okay, and there is another question. Are those, uh, are those program running in a classroom or outside of a classroom, when, once in the USL especially? UCL, sorry. So it wouldn't be a proper university experience <clears throat> if we didn't use their, their lecture halls, their seminar rooms. So they do happen in, in a university setting. Um, so our young doctor, for example, that, that will have around 200 to 250 students, they will have some big sessions as a big group. They will have some small sessions and then they'll have some very small sessions. So they're constantly broken down in, if, if there's project work, they're in small teams, all right? And they have to overcome challenges or problems or, or project briefs. And we have the experts on hand to work alongside them, answering questions, giving them some guidance and, and some structure. So it also answers the question uh, for one of these uh, attendees, like how many people are in the group? So it can be uh, five to 250, depending on what project they are working on actually. Yes, yeah. Okay. So uh, just to, just to <clears throat> say as well that uh, we have five key programs that have for the last 10 years been, been really, really popular. That's uh, medicine, the doctor, engineer, law, psychology, and investment banking. Historically, each intake is around 200 to 250 students. Mm -hmm. Things like fashion, <clears throat> they're not so popular. It's quite a new program. That will have around 80 students. Um, and so what I would say is, you know, don't, don't be alarmed by the smaller number of um, uh, students on the course. What it actually means is they probably get more time, more intensive time with the professionals themselves. Okay, so uh, at the end of the program, is there any interview for the certificate or they just, whoever finished the program, they receive the certificate? Once they finish the program, they'll receive a certificate. Um, and also students will be able to receive the industry reference letter as long as they um, are working with our partners. So everybody on the school, I would also recommend that and encourage and push and promote everyone to come and speak to the One Edgy team. Um, because the, they, the, the way that we do our bookings, if, if you want that industry reference letter, it needs to be ticked at the point of booking. Okay. Uh, there, some people ask if there is a Turkish subtitle option for the webinar. If there is anyone who didn't understand any of these parts, they can call us and get consultation from one of our counselors uh, about this, and we'll put this in YouTube with a subtitle so you can watch afterwards. So let me... I, I will try next time to improve my Turkish. You'll have to, <laughs> you'll have to give, give, give me a bit of time. 
Okay, so there are a few questions. So is it possible to join the program as a family, such as mother and daughter? As uh, mother and daughter as to come on the program. So that kind of family program, like... Right I'm over. afraid not. I'm afraid <laughs> not. This is, this is very much around uh, for the students. Um, the mothers... So if, if there are friends and family who live in London, the students can stay with them so mm -hmm. they don't take the accommodation. But that's something we'll, we'll talk about, you know, if, if there was interest in the program. Okay. So there's a question if the accommodation is a single room, the answer for that, it's yes. And single en suite room. Yeah. And there's another question. If they want to stay two people in one room, is there an option? I'm afraid not because they're all single en, en suite rooms. The, it would make the bed very small because they would have to share a bed and, and we can't allow that. Okay. <clears throat> very curfew for the residents absolutely yes <laughs> because again it's something that that we take very seriously is their safety um <clears throat> and so they will be very well briefed and our staff will ensure that they know all the timings um to to yes there, there is definitely a curfew so just to just to kind of expand on that a little bit once our booking has been made all right, students will receive what we call a pre-arrival questionnaire. Mm -hmm. We'd ask the students to complete that as soon as possible. And once that's been completed, they receive a personalized agenda of every day, uh, every program that they're going to be doing. The parents will also receive a link, and so will the, the team in Turkey. So if you're ever worried about what your son or daughter may be doing, you would actually be able to see online um what they're doing where they're going to be who you need to contact um but they also go through the behavior policy about warnings about bad behavior our safeguarding policy is also there let me ask for one question in turkish because there is a lot if there will be any turkish translation at the end so let me just take it uh, take please it go uh, webinarın sonunda sorularınız varsa türkçe olarak alacağım richard bey gittikten sonra ancak Webinar'ın Türkçe altyazılı kısmı e, YouTube kanalımıza eklenecek. Oradan takip edebilirsiniz arkadaşlar. E, so one question. So what schools they can get accepted to with the investing certificate? Will the, those schools will be in the top schools? Yeah. So it, it, it, yeah, I mean, look, they, they investing can be used on the, the university application. Mm -hmm. Now, <clears throat> they will receive guidance um in the final five days about universities about their career um we aren't a a specific kind of university counseling company mm -hmm. uh, that's what the the team in istanbul do okay mm -hmm. but what we do do is we hear from professionals about what those universities are looking for okay mm -hmm. um our alumni survey we did recently uh, for the last 10 years said that 80% of our, our previous students said that attending the investing experience helped them with their first choice. Okay. So there are questions about the teaching. So how much does it cost to attend the program? Yeah. And so the cost... Deposit, it is an any deposit payment. Yeah. So, so um, th there's a number of options for payments. So, so you can, if, as I mentioned, if you have friends and family living in London, uh, you, the students don't necessarily need to book accommodation. Um, and the, the way we, we do our payments is, is quite simple, to be honest. We have an experience fee that ranges from £1,475 through to £3,950. Our accommodation ranges from... Uh, 990 pounds to, uh, I think it's around 200 and uh, 2,600 pounds. Okay. On top of that, there is the optional uh, transfer from, from the airport to our accommodation. And again, we, we are slightly different. We, we kind of like to try and do better than, than what everybody else does. So instead of just, uh, we, we would encourage everybody to fly into London Heathrow. And then instead of just waiting in the arrivals hall at London Heathrow, we've rented already a suite at a Hilton nearby. So we will take the students from the arrivals hall to a hotel 
at the airport, where again, there'll be snacks, there'll be food, there'll be our staff and other students where they can relax because they would have just traveled. They can get to know people. They can probably have a more enjoyable start to, to their program. And then from that hotel, we take them via coach direct to the accommodation. Perfect. And I think we talked about it already, but let me ask you again, because there are like three questions. So what's the age limit for young doctor summer program? But it also contains the, some other questions, uh, like what is the age limit? And maybe you can also tell us about uh, do they have any free time during the day? Because I don't know. Uh, and uh, what is the age limit? There's another question for attending the program. So our, our programs go from 12 to 18. We can sometimes on a case by case basis accept an 11 year old and on a case by case basis accept a 19 year old. OK. Um, Sorry, what were the? Can you remind me of the other points in that if question? If they have the free time during the day, so we try to replicate what it's uh, a working day. Okay, that's why it's nine thirty till five. So um, it's, it's only lunchtime. <laughs> lunchtime and travel to different locations, <clears throat> which is why I say it's quite intense. Um, which is why you know our evening programs we we don't make a big thing about it because the reality is after a few days, they're quite tired and they, they need that downtime and they need the ability to socialize and, and, and, and mix with other students. Okay, so I, let, we asked for this question, but I want to just repeat, so maybe they join later on. So there are three meals during the day, which is a uh, lunch card, not lunch box. Richard already told you about, and they are asking if there's two meals or three meals during the day. So we asked for that one. And let me ask you, like, uh, is it the walking distance between the accommodation and the school? Yes, it's all walking distance. And just to, just to confirm, in choosing the accommodation, you have three meals, <clears throat> okay? Mm -hmm. Two are at the accommodation and one is out and about. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you this question. If I don't choose an accommodation, then I don't have the meal, right? Exactly. Perfect. So, and what level, what English level do you need to participate to the program? And how do you determine the English level? Okay, good question. I would recommend a, a, a level of B2. Mm -hmm. Again, on a case by case basis, <clears throat> we can accept a B1. If you are ever uncertain of it, I'm not. Do you do you do an IELTS uh, English test? Yes, we have IELTS yeah. in Turkey. We recommend them to some other places to take the. So program. we, so we, so okay. This is uh, not not intended to be a plug, but um, <clears throat> before I was in, investing, I used to work for another very large language um, or education group, and they developed a free language test as well. But maybe I, I, it's it's really kind of up to the team in Istanbul. Um, I would, if you are questioning uh, the level of English, please speak to the team out there because I'm sure they'll be able to help and support you. Okay, perfect. And there was another question. If Investin has on his own English exam, they do not. But if you guys call us and get counseling, we'll recommend you to some free tests and we'll, we can determine if you're in a good level of English to participate to the program. So the last question is uh, what we can do with the, you know, passport and visa uh, applications. I think I can answer to that. Like we as a team in Istanbul, we help you to apply to a visa. And then once you receive your visa, you can travel to your program. Just on that, um, we, as, as soon as <clears throat> the full balance has been paid with investing, we will send a visa support letter uh, that's been written by, uh, immigration lawyers in the UK to support the, the visa process. Okay, I think we are good to go with the questions. Anything you want to mention at the end to the crowd? And Yeah, I mean, look, I, I really highly recommend this opportunity for students. Um, it's it's very new on in the international world because as I've mentioned, we, we really are the only company offering this opportunity for, for students to work with experts. Um, 
So do speak out to the to the team in Istanbul. Um, they're there to help. <clears throat> and if there are ever any questions, they have my WhatsApp, right? <laughs> they they ask and they get a very quick answer. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, if there's anything that we don't know, we can also ask Richard or we can maybe like have a meeting with some of our potential students and uh, answer yeah. the questions in the future. So let me just tell one thing for, first of all, thank you for attending. And the program runs between June and August, late August. So if you think you're late, you're still not. So you, you're able to join the program. Just let us know so we can help you to find the right program for you. And it helps you to choose your career. And other than you, not only for your university application, also to understand what is uh, the job market demands actually at this time of the year. So thank you, Richard. You are more than welcome. So see you soon. See you very soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. <clears throat>